Well, everything I make ain't that great. But you guys rule with a house and a pool. With a house and a pool. With a house and a pool. Hello, my freaky potato potato freak stars. Welcome to the last Friday of this week. <laughs> I'm so glad you could be here. We've been doing some DCC things, but we're back to YGR. Oh, shoot. I just made the whole thing go away. Okay. It is what it is, man. All right. You know how it go goes. Let's butcher some logos. First one comes to us from a man named Paul. This is a logo for a socio-political forum. Sounds a little dangerous, but we'll do it anyways. <laughs> There's a couple things I love about the logo. The concept is really cool. The colors are vibrant and nice. Okay, first off, I'm just gonna work on the rocket. I wanna get rid of that. The other chat, well, I'll just make it the same color. Okay, can't, okay, good. Unite, like Sven and Sven's boyfriend. I'm gonna make both of these this color for now. Duh. I just wanna get back to a simplified place so then I can start adding things. Our fire is very large, which means that our, the font of the, our thing has to be too far down. Make like the fire department and shrink the flames. I'm gonna get rid of this island, uh, island in the sun. Okay, cool. Orange. I like it. Okay, come down to it. Cradles, cradles the flame. This font is pretty cool. Let me see what it looks like capitalized, fired. Up, nation. It's a little bit thin. I want something very thick. Okay, let me go font hunting. I'm gonna work with this font. It's called Azo Sans Uber Regular. Regular font for regular people like us. Great. I'm gonna incorporate the font into the logo a little bit nicer. I think one way to do it might be to make a, a curve. We're gonna have it on a curve. So if you don't know how to do that, Make a thing like this, make a circle, and then go to your text and do type on a path tool. And then you can click on the edge of the circle. And then you're like, oh, Zim, it's upside down. That's cool. We go, we go type in the menu up above. We go type on a path. And then we go type on a path optionis. And then we can flip it. And then we preview. We say, okay, perfection is unattainable. All right, sick. I still want the flames to be a little bit smaller. Sorry, guys. Can't stand the heat. Get out of the rocket. I really want the highlights to be very poppy. So I'm gonna do something like this. We're gonna start here. Come down yonder. All right, okay. I actually don't like that corner I made. And uh, let's add another one. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna fix those details later. You know, let's go crazy. Let's just go stupid. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is my favorite highlight to add. We do like a little Bong bong bing bong. All right, never tell never tell somebody you love them unless you actually love them. But what is love? All right, that's cool. Looks great from back here. Now I'm gonna add back in your shadows, but we're just gonna make it, you know, more realistic. I'm gonna select all the shapes that I want to include in this whole cutout thing I'm about to do. And then I can press Shift M, which gives me the Shape Builder tool, and then I can cut that out. And then I can make both of these guys red. That's right. Now I'm actually going to. Steal the highlight, flip it. This time we just want our highlights on the right to be a little bit lighter than the shadow. Something like this. Like a yellow part to this flame. The inside of the fire. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Have you guys ever seen Survivor? The show? It's like an old show. I wonder if it's still going on. Here we go. Ba bam. A little bit, a little bit more thing. Mm. Okay, let's zoom out, see what happens. Ooh, but this part's too big. Cool. You can make a little diamond shapes. You make a square. You go effect, distort and transform, and you go pucker and bloat. <laughs> oh, why is that so fun to say? Pucker and bloat. And then we can pucker it. What I want to do is make like stars to really set the scene a little bit. Maybe we do one over here. And then I want a little bit more movement and action in our thing. I'm gonna press Shift W. This gives me a line width tool. And I can go like, bam, make the top of the line real thick. We don't want it that thick though. Pretty sick. All right, all right let's do a little side by side thing. All right, Paul, these are the changes I would suggest for your logo. I think two things. I've managed to make your logo 
like a little bit more square and compact. That way you'll be able to put it places easier. Right now your logo is quite tall. Rounding the font below our icon integrates it all a little bit together. I didn't actually change any of the structure of the rocket at all. That was well done. Paul, thank you so much for sending this in and letting me work on it. I really, I really love rockets. All right, design champions, let's give Paul two claps. Let me know in the poll right now whether we fired it up or we doused it. I have zero idea how to spell doused. Next up, we have this sent to us by Aiden Pollock. We got a lot of content here, homie. Uh, this is a personal logo. Looks like he's a designer and an illustrator. I like this one the best. I think it's pretty cool looking. Start working on a clean slate. What I want to do is I want to come up with a pretty cool, interesting font. Something we don't usually use. Pizzazz, but also show your illustration side more. Out of our usual wheelhouse. What is a wheelhouse? This font's pretty sick. Look at that little ampersand sign. That's dope. This font is called Circa. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. Let's make this one like a little subtitle thing. There we go. I think this logo is fine. I wouldn't change it for the world. I want to make this your purple color. Let's make some sick patterns. Gonna do like one of these. I'm gonna press control D this way like this. Okay, and then we'll go like that. Then we'll press command D again. We got four. Look how cool this pattern will look. So you could use these at different, you know, places in your visual identity would be sick. Like a little AP thing for you also. Let's make it, let's let's steal that blue you got. This is gonna be sick. I ain't gonna lie about it. That looks pretty cool and very like, uh, you know, designy, illustratory. I think this is like one of the coolest symbols to make a, a really awesome background pattern. You could use it in a lot of different ways. You can do different shapes. So basically the only thing I changed for your logo is just uh, adding in a font. So very good work. Let's give you two elbow claps. It's a lot more than two. I get carried away. <laughs> All right, design champions, vote now in the poll. Whether we Aiden Paul lucked it or we Aiden Paul made it worse. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. This one comes to us from Joel Kispe, a logo for a high performance. I think it's like a sports lab. So they work with athletes to help them have higher performance. Maybe I'm going to choose the just this one, I suppose. So let's, I'm just gonna, okay, bye, sorry. <laughs> Catch you later, alligator. I think it's a leg. I think it's supposed to be like a sport leg running, but it could be like a check mark or a cool line. But what I wanna do is I don't really wanna make it look like like leg actually more of like a stylized icon is is a good option so good job there what i really want to do to your logo overall is just simplify and add a lot of strength strength speed and power because that's what everybody wants not me though i want to stay weak slow and weak we can get uh, those feelings across much more easily if we make everything sharper and then uh we're gonna make the knee part sharp as well and then i'm gonna get rid of this point i'm gonna sharpen this i just want this whole thing to be like a pretty sharp shape just a shape you know just like a basic shape yeah yeah yeah. like a graph going up i like that that's cool i think again we can find a font that conveys strength speed and power a little bit more on this bad boy and let me find a font that i think might work i got a font called Sarovac, Sarovac, which is my middle name. Most of these things, they call themselves labs, but there's like only one lab, you know? All right, okay. Let's make this boy orange. It's a little bit basic, right, our font? So let's actually do a little bit of adjustment to this font. Just one or two things that'll make it feel a little bit more customized. Let's heighten these boys like that. Bam, high performance. A little bit more sporty this way. Uh, I want to do other stuff, but I don't know what else, and I don't want to get too carried away making the font look crazy. What might be also cool is if we overlap just a little bit. I like that. It's kind of cool, too. I want to add a lot of energy. Not a lot. We can add a lot by just adjusting the orange a little. So we can bring our orange up to, like, there. The early cat gets the bird worm. Did you know that you can make the word romance? Perf, perf romance from performance. Make this boy white. Yeah, it looks pretty sick. I really like this shape because it's so simple. It means we can put it like most anywhere and it'll work fine. I kept the 
icon you made the same. I just put it into one shape, made it a little bit sharper. I used the same layout for the font. That was really good. I used the same color scheme and just up the orange a little bit. I am not 1000% satisfied with the typography changes that I've made to high performance, but I think it'll be okay. Joel, thank you so much for sending this and letting me butcher it. You're the best. Design champions, let's give Joel some double snaps and a triple snap and a quadruple. Can't do it, wow. Let me know whether we high performance the logo or we buy performance the logo. Oh, Zimri, you need to get better at rhymes. This one comes to us from Annette. Hillstead. This is for a vegan apparel and accessory company. I think, it's, I think it's really cool. I like the layout and the general idea is cool. Right now, I think things might be a little bit geometric. I think something feeling a bit more handcrafted and natural will lend itself to the whole uh, vegan idea and as well as love. And then it'll be on shirts. So you want to, you know, make your shirts feel like they're like their DIY and custom kind of a thing. So first off, I'm gonna find a font that I think might be pretty cool. Artsy, maybe hand drawn font. All right, this is what we're working with. Looks a little bit playful. I, th I think it'll be okay in the end though. It's called Subway Berlin. Separate our, our letters a little bit more so make it a lot more readable. So we can put vegan in here like this. We can put the in there like that or we can put it up like that. I want to I want to have them all stacked in the same area. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to bring down this side of the V some. I'll never forget you. All right, we're going to bring down the V like that. And what is the vegan legacy? Now, we need to kind of make our circle and heart treatment look like it will go with our new font. And I'm going to trace our circle here. And I might go over some areas just to make it look like it's not perfect. It's actually not easy. The inside, wow, Zim, you are really smooth, bro. Dang, who knew? Maybe it needs to be more like, more of a heart feel. See what happens when we put this boy inside. I might turn the whole thing to the left a little bit. Something like that. Gonna make it a little bit tan. Yeah, like that, my son, like that. I would like to add some texture to this though, so. All right, see that? Just a bit of texturization. All right, Annette, those are the changes that I would make to your logo. Um, I think some people won't necessarily agree with the changes, but I think for me personally, we have to kind of remember the context and the application of all the logos. So it'll be for t-shirts. So something a little bit more artsy is always good. And I think it really gives it just a lot more character that people will see and be able to be like, oh yeah, I love them. It, you know, it gives it a lot more personality that, that your customers can, can identify with. But uh, you know, I could be wrong. But you've done fantastic on this and thank you so much for sending this to me, Annette. I appreciate it. So for that, I will give you three reverse hand nah, claps. That's harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> All right, design champions. Let me know in the poll above right now. Vegan it, did dit, or whether we're leaving it. Nice. All right, y'all, for today's winner category, this comes to us from Ryan Lee. He said it's uh, a logo for his filmmaking endeavors. I love this. It's probably an R. It could not be an R. Who really knows? It's just a cool looking thing. So shout out to Ryan Lee. I really like this one. Thank you so much for showing us. All right, design champs, thank you so much for being here and spending your time with me. I put out two DCC videos earlier this week. So if you wanna vote on who will make it in to the round of four, head back to those schmoes. It's hot, oh my gosh, it's so hot. Stay awesome, possum, and I'll see you later, alligator. Next week on Monday. All right, bye guys.